Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So it is weigh-in day, WW workshop topic day. We're gonna talk about my week, set some goals for next week. And just so you know, I am filming this video very, very early this week. It is actually Tuesday. I am flying out here in just a couple of hours to head to plastic surgery. So when you see this weigh-in video, I am recovering from plastic surgery that was performed on Wednesday. So please send good vibes, keep me in your prayers, but I definitely wanted to get a weigh-in video up this week, even though it's just a few days after the last weigh-in. And we're gonna chat about this week's workshop topic with Weight Watchers as well. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. This is how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. We'd love to have you. It's free. It's supportive. It's welcoming. So come on over and join us. So uh, let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. I have, hope you had a lovely Mother's Day. We actually took my beautiful mother-in-law out for lunch on Mother's Day, and then I had a nice long conversation with my mom on the phone that evening. It was really nice to see both of the special moms in my life. And then, of course, I celebrated as a dog mom. I feel like dog moms deserve to celebrate Mother's Day as well. So I celebrated with a glorious hour-long walk, picking up my favorite iced coffee from Starbucks. It was just a great Mother's Day, and I hope that you had an amazing Mother's Day as well. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm currently recovering from plastic surgery. I am really excited. I actually leave, like I said, here in a couple of hours and I'll be gone just under a week. I am filming and vlogging the entire experience. So if you've been wondering about plastic surgery, if you've been wondering about plastic surgery in Mexico, out of the country, stay tuned for that vlog. I'm actually really excited to share the whole experience with you. Leading up to today, to heading out for plastic surgery, I just really focus on fueling my body. I've been talking about trying to rid any excess inflammation or bloating leading up to my plastic surgery just so that I'm the leanest, healthiest version of myself when I undergo any type of surgery or medical procedure. I've been focused on drinking my water. I did all of my workouts. Literally, I went to boot camp yesterday because I'm unfortunately, which is truly the one thing I'm most upset about is that I'm not going to be able to work out for quite some time. I'm guessing anywhere from four to eight weeks. We'll kind of see what the surgeon says post-op. I am planning to walk as much as I possibly can to get out and at least move my body. I don't know what to expect with this recovery. I really don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know how tired, fatigued, sore I'm going to be. So of course, I'll keep you guys updated as always as I go through the recovery process. And again, stay tuned for the vlog all about my plastic surgery and my friend Amy's plastic surgery experience in Tijuana, Mexico. Before I chat with you about my weigh-in, I do want to talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic because it's another good one. And this is how to how to stop avoiding high point foods and enjoy them instead. I can't tell you how many people that follow Weight Watchers say, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. There's too many points in this, too many points in that. When we restrict or eliminate or moralize or put a moral value on food in general, it's a really unhealthy relationship with food and it can lead to us not being successful on our weight loss journey. So I'm really excited that they are focusing on enjoying even those higher point foods throughout your weight loss. Do you ever think you'd be better off banning pizza, donuts, your favorite sweet treat or salty snack, you definitely, definitely are not better off. When we restrict foods, it's the number one cause of binge eating. This is when we overdo it. Instead of eating a serving of potato chips or a single cookie, we eat the whole bag of potato chips or the whole package of cookies. And we want to stop that. So not only we're successful on our weight loss journey, but we heal our relationship with food in the process. Try this, choose one of your tricky foods, then ask yourself a few questions. What is a sensible portion you can eat? Look up the points values and plan on how to fit them into your budget. Where will you buy and enjoy these foods? Eating out can help you avoid seeing the food every time you open the fridge, but if you do have it at home, try pre-portioning it into smaller servings. When exactly will you eat it? 
at the designated time, ask yourself, do I really want this now? If not, reschedule. And who will join you? Consider sharing the experience and your plan. Friends can help you stick to it. So let's put all of that together. I'll eat one cup of cookie dough ice cream on Friday after work at the local shop with my best friend forever, Kate. So if you weren't thinking about your favorite food, you probably are now. And this here are some really great tips on how to navigate still being able to enjoy your favorite foods on your weight loss journey. I always, always say, whatever you eat to lose weight, you have to eat those same foods to maintain your weight loss. So don't eat foods you hate just to lose weight and don't skip foods you love just to lose weight. I really like the idea of pre-portioning out some of those trigger foods for you. If you love potato chips, buy a big bag, weigh a serving out on your food scale and put it in a little individual sandwich bag. Bag up a serving of your favorite cookies. Bagging these up and pre-portioning these out is going to help you stick to a serving. I don't know about you, but I'm way too lazy to get up and go get another bag of chips or another bag of cookies. I'm just going to eat the bag of chips or cookies that I have and call it a day. This will help you from overeating and help you from not taking the whole bag or box of cookies to the couch. Also remember not to restrict or eliminate any foods. Do not swear off foods while you're losing weight. Just watch your portions. If it's high calorie, you eat a little bit less of it. If it's high fat, you eat a little bit less of it, but you can still eat whatever you want to be successful, even those high point foods. I want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, when people deprive themselves of certain foods, they're more likely to crave and end up eating those foods compared to people who don't deprive themselves. Number two, vowing never to eat a certain food without a plan in place for when you do come across it sets you up to rely on willpower, which is absolutely unreliable. And number three, creating a plan for when you'll enjoy these foods reduces the need to spend energy trying to force them out of your mind. And again, no food is off limits. No food has moral value. You're not bad because you ate pizza. I'm not bad because I ate salad. Stop putting moral value on food and allow yourself to enjoy everything in moderation. This is healthy, sustainable weight loss. This is a healthy relationship with food. And this is the catapult in getting you to heal that relationship with food, which helps you keep the weight off long term. So I really like this topic and I'm glad that they're focusing on eat what you love and eat those high point foods. Just work them into your day. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. The last time I weighed in was Friday. It is now Tuesday. So this only been a couple of days since my last weigh-in, but I wanted to have a foundation and a basis for when I head to plastic surgery. I'm anticipating lots of swelling, which is probably going to lead to some weight gain on the scale. So I really wanted to know where am I the day that I walk out the door for plastic surgery. And when I stepped on the scale, I am up 0.2 from last week, which that's nothing to me. I fluctuate daily. My weight fluctuates every day, sometimes ounces, sometimes pounds. And being up 0.2 is really, in my opinion, a maintain. And I'm really happy with where my body is, where my weight is, where my mindset is moving into this plastic surgery. So I will go ahead and put up here on the screen how much weight I've lost total and what my current weight is. And like I said, I probably will continue to vlog when I get home through a little bit of the recovery process, at least the first couple of days. So I can let you know, what does that scale look like after some after plastic surgery. I want you to get the full, full picture. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of this workshop topic? And are you someone who eats high point foods or are you one of those people who says you can't eat those high point foods? I really hope that today's topic helps you rethink your approach to those higher point foods, those higher calorie foods, and start introducing them into your daily diet. There's nothing wrong with higher calorie foods. And if you enjoyed another week, weekly workshop topic, weigh in, and about my week, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not so you don't miss any future videos and check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And then of course, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for the well wishes, the good vibes, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.